I mean, four ladies, but only one have the chance to go backstage. What do you think that you've done over the last few weeks that made the judges decide to save you? Because it wasn't just about Sunday night. It was yes. an accumulation of everything that has happened in the last few weeks. Yes. Okay, I think um, from the first performance, that's the 32, I think I did my best. And the second day, as in the second week, it wasn't that bad. Even though I had a cherry stick choked in my throat, I think it was okay. So it keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. Okay, now let's also talk about your performance, mm -hmm. Madam Abeli. <laughs> <laughs> Abeli Ra. Why, why did you decide to <laughs> go that way? I mean, it's something a lot of us know about. Um, yes. But it's been, it's been quite a while I saw some in town. Yes. And so it brought back all the memories. Yes. Is that a reason you decided to <laughs> choose that as your business idea or something you've always been doing at home? Okay. Um, I think it's because my ability is peculiar. Um, being in a hospital, we used to get cases like um, gastrointestinal infections. That's from ice creams um, the kids take in schools and outside their homes. So I had the knowledge of ice cream preparation, but it was like the usual one on the market. So I sat down as a health professional and I'm like, okay, if sugar is causing issues and sometimes the milk too, because there is a sugar in the milk called uh, lactose, and uh, some people who have lactose intolerance. So I decided to go the other way around even as we take our desserts, snacks and starters using ice creams, we still maintain a healthy lifestyle. So I sat down and I decided to go by the natural way, as in using organic stuff for the ice cream to maintain health and also enjoy our daily ice creams. So my ice cream is purely natural with no preservatives and it's sugar free, but very delicious. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait to taste it. I think <laughs> I need to grab yes. a few pieces of your ability and try it out. But you have the exposure. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have gotten to know of this business idea. Is this something yes. you really want to pursue even after the competition? Yes, yes. I'm looking forward to opening um, an ice cream shop that will run um, eat ins and eat out and also um, I, I want someone that will help me out though, but I'm looking at keeping them in the park, just like the normal ones on the market. I think that's what I, would, I want to do. Yeah. But also tell me, how do you take the judges' comments? Sometimes, mm -hmm. of course, they are very blunt. They tell you <laughs> as it is. Mm -hmm. How do you take it and when you go back, how do you make yourself better? Okay. This is a very uh, serious question, yes. I think uh, we perform, but we don't get to see what we do on the outside. And they are looking at us from the other way around. So whatever they say to you, that means it's, it's actually the truth. So I just sit down, pick out the right ones, and work on them. All right. Now yeah. let's also talk about your ladies. I had to say goodbye to the competition. <laughs> do you miss any of them? Yes, I miss all of them. Oh, <laughs> ah, but I'm sure you miss at least one more. No, all of them. <laughs> you miss all of them equally. Yes. What about them? I mean, are you feeling their presence that much? Hmm. Their absence in the house? Yes, because um, Olila is the talking bird in the house. So yesterday um, in the room, I was like, ah, if Olila was here, she would have initiated a tour for us to get into it, but she's not here. And Oma, uh, Ohima to get into it. And Winnie will be like, hey girls, it's late, let's sleep so that we can get extra energy for the next day. So it's like, it's a running thing. Everyone has a role to play, and I'm missing all of them. But tell me, after everything was said and done, after Sunday, when everything settled, how was the atmosphere in the house like? Hmm, very emotional. <laughs> Very, very emotional. Um, we were all sad because they were leaving us. So everyone was quiet, speechless, and 
we just didn't know what to say to them because at that moment it's either you calm them down or you trigger their emotions so we're just sitting with them saying nothing and just watching them so it was very emotional oh i can imagine that <laughs> and i'm glad you were saved i'm hoping that you don't come up for eviction again and your people vote for you so on oh. that note i'll give you um 30 seconds to tell them something okay thank you so much um i say here mine I want to remind Miss Remo, last week I moved by your Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for your support so far, but ha, we need to do more. <laughs> if not, I'll join them in the house. So please pick up your phone and vote massively for Blower by dialing this short code star 713 star 13 hash and vote for Blower. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Benua. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Um, get enough rest. Take okay. very good care of yourself. And we'll sure. see you on Sunday. Thank you.